what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today's going to be a little bit different because we've got two co-hosts with us. We've got 82 Studio and Driver 53 are joining the team. So uh, we, we're actually going to be a little bit busy today. So we don't have enough time to show you the stuff in the game. Uh, I have to say, hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? You probably want to know about the mods. Today we've got 12 mods total for all platforms. We've got eight new and one update. And for PC and Mac, we've got two new mm -hmm. and one update as well. I make mod review videos every time mods are dropped, even on vacation with these goobers. So if you guys want to see more, get some scraps so you don't miss any. Let's get into it. All right, so first off today, we got a new map, Portugal South. This is from FSPT. Now, I'm not familiar with these guys. Have they made anything else? The Manure Factory, very interesting mod there, by the way. But there's what they say, the map space is southern region of Portugal with the original relief. Gotta love translations. The map brings its own space park <laughs> for the factories. Three points of sale, 26 fields of various sizes. Also, as a farm space with farmhouse silos and shed, 70 megabytes. We can see some pretty nice uh, screenshots through here. What do you guys think about these? Check out that PDA. I like the PDA. Yeah, I love how it's an irregular field. It's totally irregular. So, the relief uh, is awesome. If this is a map that you guys want to check out, it's out now for all platforms. So today we got also the John Deere 1113. And on my opinion, it's pretty cool. I know nothing about these things because, you know, I don't play. But but <laughs> if you look at the pictures, you can have two together up to 15 meters, fertilize and seed at once. And I think that is pretty awesome. Only 340 horsepower too required. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. 300 and what? 340 because it's 170 each. Yeah, it's 170 each, so it's going to be 340. And and there is some pictures here that 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 is awesome for the for the case lovers. We have a case. <laughs> Who got John Deere? All right, everybody. I'm Driver Fifty Three, and I'm going to be taking a look at the heavy metal rollers here. If you love working the uh, grass fields to make silage, this is definitely going to be a mod you want to check out. We got the Lizard LVH Five and the Lizard LVV Seventeen Hundred. Not bad on price, thirty thousand and ten thousand each. And uh, if we come down here. It, they're huge. They are absolutely ginormous rollers here. And let's take a look at the couple other screenshots. Is that another case or is it a voucher? I don't know. Hold on. You guys know I'm a huge case fan, but you got to give respect to the other brand suit. I don't see them, but these things absolutely look amazing. You maybe can use them on your regular fields too. That's that's so, so awesome. And look at that. Three, three. <laughs> You're pulling them. Triples in a... I mean, if you need to take out some zombies... That's definitely a mod for you. <laughs> <laughs> Next new one for all platforms is the Digic 5. Uh, it's from uh, Tutha, uh, the modder. <laughs> None of this is translated. It's going to cost you 25 grand, uh, 5,000 liter. It can be found in animals and it is animated, animated, something with a leaf spring. Words. It's a <laughs> Shut up. It's... I'm definitely going to have to get into the game to take a look at this one. But if this looks like something you may be interested in, I'm not quite sure what it is, but check it out. So the other one that we have today is the Dubelsdorf Run Bale Fork. Well, it is a bale fork, and, and, and that's basically it. A bale fork. Now, shut, shoot. So it is a, can be flexible, it says. I don't see how metal is going to be flexible. But, uh, but yeah, it's flexible and in the use of hay and straw harvest and three-point attachment for only 2200 bucks. For getting it into the game and well here you have it so but, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> next we've got the small dairy with one of the shortest descriptions I've ever seen on mod up small dairy which can be placed as production point forty thousand dollars there you go Let's see how many one two three screenshots awesome another voucher next was a small horse pasture yeah man check this out so you got snow and what is going on back there uh, the horse pasture accommodate two horses. I hope you have, well, two. Uh, I'd say it's about 16 by 20. I think it's going to be super small. They do say an old bathtub is used for cheap water. Talk about cheap water. I believe this was what we had Farming Simulator 19. So if you used it then, well, you got it. So the last one for all platforms is rustic brick and metal fence. What it is? Well, it is a, a fence and, and it's made of brick and metal. So you like it? There you go. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Up next is going to be the tree sapling pack. The changelog 1.0.0.1 says added ability to purchase in quantity of 6, 40, and 60 saplings. That is awesome. Come down here and got some spruce. Yeah. Sapling. Sapling. Wait, it's same same picture. They're all, they're all, oh, it's up there. 
All right. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> no, that is awesome. You can get small quantities all the way up to this huge. It's going to save you tons of trips to the field. Make your way into new mods for PC and Mac players. We got the firewood processor. Check this. <laughs> Check this out. So it goes through, actually, I had one of these on the back of my grandfather's tractor growing up. We used all the time. This is neat because you put your logs in there and it splits them, cuts them, and then splits them into what looks to be like four or fists, just smaller pieces. Really cool. Uh, the description is absolutely massive. You guys can go check this out for yourself if you want to. But there you go. Firewood processor. Go get it. So then we have the Villa S73 for PC only, PC and Mac. I need the menu spinner, spraying some love around real grapes and olives, price 12,000, working speed 15 kilometers per hour, and working with 4 meters. So there you go. What are you doing? Just <laughs> <laughs> get that out of me. The last mod for today is actually going to be a update. It's the Pallet Autoload Specialization. Got a bunch of different updates here in the change logs. The last one, though, unfortunately, is in German, and I'm not even going to try and butcher this up. It seems like it's a really awesome mod. It's gonna help out a lot of PC players here. Got a couple more screenshots. I'm really not familiar with it as a console player, but if you're PC, definitely, definitely go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you really did, check out Driver53 and 82 Studio to make sure they're both linked down in the description below. Uh, we're gonna go do some other stuff. So what do you think I, you say? Wreck it outside ain't mine. Don't download it. <laughs> that is not okay. Precision farming. Check it out, everybody. Check it out. This guy's video on precision. Check it out. I made a video in a truck this morning. Oh, sweet son. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> we'll see you later. Is he doing it? Yeah, peace. Yes. Peace. <laughs>